not Good here at Loretta's. Mario Izzy right now about to chop him off. <laughs> we'll have a uh, mini senior racing coming up in just a few minutes here, and we are underway. It's happening. Mini senior won. Some of these kids raced not long ago. Let's talk loud. Vincent Way right in the middle of these things. He's in second as we speak. Might be. Yep, there he is, the 27, the 31 in the number two spot. Wow, what a relief. We can actually see the racetrack. Big thanks to Phoenix Racing for putting this tower together. And now we see it is the 31 of Chadwick Nower in the lead. It is now or never for Nower. There it is. And he got the whole shot. Stasek going to give him 100 bucks. Jonathan Getz just finished up on a 65. Now he hops on the 85 to do battle. And he's fifth right now on the 22. Hey, hey. What I want to get, bro. Hey, Jonathan Getz. Goodbye. You're right. We did have a moto with this uh, class, Mini Senior 2, but basically the same riders and same bikes. I'm going to say that was two, two and a half hours ago. So these riders know this track well. And it was Vincent Way doing this exact same thing, getting into the lead quickly. Had to pass one rider, did it again here. He was, well, he had to pass about four in that first one, making it a lot easier, tightening up that program. His dad really got after him for not passing more guys early on, leading that first lap. Well, we thought he was fifth or sixth. His uh, team manager, Daniel Blair, said 20th. Vincent said, I think I was 30th. What? I don't know. He passed a lot of guys, and he was in the lead at the end of lap one, and he's doing it again here in mini senior one. And Chadwick Nauer, who grabbed that whole shot is under some serious pressure. Oh, Jonathan Getz almost went down on that number 22. And we know what his goal is. He thinks he can run with Way, but he's got to get up there early to have a shot at it as Way is getting away. Thank you. Oh, my. One lap oh, down my. for Vincent Way. Up and over the tunnel of, ah, girls are cool. You know, about this age, they're like. <laughs> <laughs> they're embarrassed. They don't want to admit it. Oh, it's Chase Air Wolf. In the number two spot, Plecka, Getz, Nauer, Camden, Garda Bolasina, and Aiden Zing again, Carson Wood. Carson Wood's been a front runner here at Loretta's before, starting 10th. He's got some serious work to do on the Team Green Kawasaki as you see Vincent Way and Wolf coming through. There's Wolf in second. Cole Plecka, let's see what he can do from third on the number 95 in the long short shoot. And these 85 classes, this is often where the great racing is. You cannot fake a title at this level because when you look at a lot of the other classes, it depends on if you're tall or short, you move to a big bike early or late. Same thing, 65. Some are on 65s or onto 85s early or late. Certainly big bike, same thing. This 13-ish year old age, almost everybody ends up on an 85. So this is really, and there's not an ABC group either. So this is really where the rubber meets the road. And a lot to prove for these guys. Tighten that shot up of his gear, whatever he's running right now. That is some answer Mike Kadrowski looking stuff. The bubble cartoony answer yeah. in the arms there. That's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm feeling. I know that they No, that's what he had it's for Moto fresh. One. Yep. It's fresh. So maybe it's not as dirty now because he jumped out to the early lead. He's jumped into the creek and then just let his gear dry off in the moto. I don't have one set to get you through the week, son, all right? No. Sorry, man. I don't have any connections at answer. No. Wolf, Blecka, Getz, Nauer. There's Getz making tracks around the outside before that anthill turn. And see if he can close in from fourth. We might have a, br a battle brewing for second, third, and fourth before long. Jonathan Getz just launched that. Didn't quite get it over the landing, though. He gets it. Just about got it. He's one of those kids, man. He gets it. Totally he totally gets it. TZ. Yeah, we're going to stop saying that. Jace Airwolf. That is the music I used for my show drop this past weekend. I'm oh, really? Literally used it. Airwolf. Theme. Yes. Really? So that is Jace Airwolf in the number two spot and Cole Blecka third. But you got to watch out for Getz. Watch Getz pop out behind this billboard. Well, I thought he was going to. There he is. Wow, that is a thick pack back there. Are you kidding me? Look at this, what, six, seven, eight riders? And you can see that Kawasaki starting to move up of Carson Wood. There he is at the bottom of your screen. Wood was 10th. Right now he's ninth, but for how long? Because he's got, let's count them, one, two, three, four, five. I think we had seven bikes in this long short shoot right now. There's more than that. They keep coming through. They're heading into the Ten Commandments now. 
And that is a good 10 motorcycles for sure. And, you know, I'll say it, it's been weird. We haven't called a lot of Kawasaki's up towards the front of the field. Right. No. Holiday. What are you doing over there? Get it's, after him. It's tough for these mini cycle ranks, man. It's tough. The competition is thick. He's, he's, he's on. The, I think he's right there. There's Ryan right there. He's like, yep, that's me. Whoo. I'm watching the 52 of Kevin DePino on the 52. He's the one trying to make moves right now as they're in Storyland battling. I think he's trying to get around Kane Balasina, who is in sixth, and then Austin Camden in fifth. You saw that 52 of DePino. Not quite able to make the pass. Here we go in the sand. The 19 is Camden on the gas gas. Well, that is a very fluid situation right there. Oh, yeah. You can be fourth or tenth in the same camera frame. It's so wild how close that is. Yep. Sending it yet again. Rodney Tomlin in the tower. And here comes this wild pack of ferocious riders. Jeez. Wood is right in the middle of it. That's yeah, look guys. at that. And then another pack of four. That's a six pack in the number four spot. There is a Kawasaki of Wood. Let's see, he's moved to seventh from ninth. Unbelievable, look at this battle right now. You got the 11 of Colby Lessar also in the group. Lessar is gonna try to go around the outside of everyone. Wood's momentum for the inside carries him into Lessar's line. You got the 19 of Austin Camden. He's trying to hold off five riders right now. Colby it Lessar, like I think Wood he made got that got actually pass. passed by two yeah. guys there. Yeah, the 11 of Lessar got around Wood. Oh, he's off the track there. All right, we're heading into the Ten Commandments with that wild race here. And Woods trying to pick up. He just slammed his way past two riders. He went two for one there. And Carson Wood is back in the game, laying the wood to the competition, if you will. But he's going to go wide in the turn after the Ten Commandments. It's a big gamble right there. He's trying to make the move. Let's see if it pays off. Not quite enough. Good Lord, those KTM riders are like ganging up on him on the inside here. It's uh, the oh. 44 at the front of that group is Kane Bolasina. Jonathan Getz is fourth up ahead. Bleka third, Jace Wolf second, and Vincent Way in the lead. So we'll keep watching this, uh, what, 10 rider battle? They're for coming fifth out of place. Storyland. That's ridiculous. Look at this. That is not a parade lap. This is three laps into this race. Dude, that, I don't know. That's 10 riders. You're absolutely right. That's 10 guys. It's like a snake headed toward you. It's nine. It's nine. 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 All right, but that's Rodney. only because Rodney. He cannot he count to double digits. 10, so it's just, so he's, he's always pinky. topped off at nine. He said it was a nine rider battle, nine and but and a half. He's got he can't half get to ten. What comes after nine? Lost in the boating accident. What comes after nine? <laughs> you tell me it goes back to one and zero. <laughs> How could that? that we work? already had zero We've and one. How does that? that? But they put bigger numbers. All right, here they are, Jason. They land right beside us here. Carson Wood right in the middle of this chaos as your leaders are already past the finish line, the top four. They're side by side by side, a three rider sandwich into this last turn. First of all, shout out to the 44 of Kane Balasina, who has held this group off for about two laps now Impressive. with all those riders behind him. Wow, Kane Balasina, Mr. Kane Balasina. <laughs> Mr. Balasina, Mr. Kane Balasina. And now we're on the outside. Watch for that 11. He's down to the inside now to the billboards. And that's Colby Lessar, and I think he made another pass. So Lessar has managed to slowly but surely pick his way toward the front in this 10-rider battle. And I think that's going to put him the sixth. And now he's going to try to challenge Kane Bolasina for the number five spot. And I think he might have him in the long short shoot. Here we go. He crosses over from outside to inside, and Colby Lessar has done it. He started at the back of that group, and now he's at the front of it. He's in fifth place. I mean, it's almost your dad almost can't be mad at you. If you're in that mix, you could have been 11th. On paper, it looks terrible. Or you could have been fifth, and it's a half a second separating all that. It's nuts. You're right. But you only got 20. That's as good as you can do. Yeah. I mean, side by side, as we go to Storyland, man, this is some great racing. I think that's uh, Austin Camden. And Brody Barth battling it out with Kane Bolasina in the back in Storyland. 
Vincent Way's lead is up to five and a half seconds. Wolf is still second, and Cole Blecka third. Carson Wood feet off the pegs there. Just a fantastic battle here on screen. I'd say best race of the day so far, and it's for about fifth place. Yeah. Now that's what Loretta's is all about, where you get these battles. Everywhere is a battle. That's what everybody talks about if they qualify for this thing. It doesn't matter what position you're in. There's someone that'll fight you the whole way. All the way. And Bolasina just cannot shake Brody Barth. And they are heading right towards us and past us. Carson Wood continues to fight with a 52. That's Kevin DeFino. That's for 10th place. Wood on that Kawasaki is battling with DeFino. Yeah, he, he went from ninth to seventh and then got pushed back to ninth. So Wood has to do all that work again. That's just what that battle, yep. one good corner, you pass two or three guys, one bad corner, you lose two or three spots. We're watching this Bolasina and Barth battle right now. That is for sixth place with Lessar up ahead in fifth and Jonathan gets in fourth. Halfway home, nine more minutes to go here in mini senior 112 to 14. Vincent Way put some seven seconds behind him now. Man, he's having a nice little day here. Two one ones. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Putting in the work there at DeWitt, Michigan, and opening it up now to seven seconds on the field is your leader as we still watch this battle for sixth place. And Brody Barth, did he get the pass made? Yes, he did. Well, for the moment, as they head now into the Ten Commandments, he's going to swing wide. And I, I think he can finally say he got around that guy. Bolasina has slipped back. There's the 52 making hay while the sun shines. DeFino has moved up a bunch. He's right behind that battle. Yeah, but I think he was in the thick of it at one point. Almost everyone who made a charge to the front ended up right back where they were. And Brody Barth, that's going to be sixth place for him. Yeah, this is odd. Bolasina photo. just aired out that triple in Storyland to roll back up on Brody Barth. He's not done. Jace Wolf second, Cole Bleck a third, gets fourth. Lessar has won this 10 rider duel. It was for all for fifth to about 15th place. And Lessar is now in the fifth place spot. He did Bart that by way Bolasina. of a 2.05 lap time too that time around. So that's what definitely yeah, he's helped. rolling. Yep. And that rundown uh, brought to you by our friends at Oakley. It's the official eyewear here at Loretta Ranch. And this battle continues in mini senior 12 to 14. Man, if you're Vincent Way, yeah, you're sitting on 1-1 one, one in two different classes. If you can get this Moto win finished off, he's got a seven-second lead. And then you got to wonder what the rest of the week is like. What is the pressure to deal with when you're the guy sitting up top? You have everything to lose, they have everything to gain. I think he's up for it, man. I think they fought for it. It's been a while. He wants to be that guy, I would yep. think. Yep. I'm sure they got a pretty solid program over there, keeping him in check. I think he knows a thing or two uh, about racing. Jonathan gets up to third. He has gotten around Blecka, so it is Getz now in the number three spot. Blecka in fourth. Wolf still second. It's a nice breakthrough for Wolf. Had the whole shot earlier in the day, running second in this moto. He's making a name for himself. Hanging tough on the number 13. Just make it to the make it to pros with a name like that, man. There's so much we can Chase do with Wolf. that. Out of uh, Franklin, Wisconsin. The hotbed of motocross. Oh, so much heritage up there in Wisconsin. Oh, somebody opened the door to our tower and you hear that sweet sound of these two strokes. These are 85s, similar to a super mini division. Just a little bit smaller wheels, a little bit smaller displacement. And there is the number 16. We're watching him on screen, Brody Barr. Ben Riddle, we need to see you at the office, please. Ben Riddle. We need to see you at the office as we continue to watch the number 16 of Brody Barth. Got about six more minutes to go before Vincent Way can lay claim to another class win. Trying to get up in there and challenge his dad for moto wins all time. I'd love to get an idea of who's got the most wins. Maybe you find that out. His dad did pretty well here a few times. Vincent Way has a shot at him. I mean, he's doing exactly what he needs to do. He comes around and heading into the finish line turn. There's Vincent Way, Jace Wolf number 13. I'll tell you what, Jonathan Getz is right there on top of him now. He is seven one hundredths of a second behind him as they head into the finish line. Getz on the inside. And now we have a battle shaping up for the number two spot. Jonathan Getz is not done. Taking what he believes is his up and over the tunnel jump. We go with Wolf and Getz. 
Attorneys at Law. There's Carson Wood, 26, Kawasaki rider. Mechanic's going to have a lot of work to do on that bike just to clean it up. It's dirty. He's got the 52. He has been battling with this guy since they got here. He got a better parking spot than him. Saw him at the hot dog line. They battled there. And there is the battle, Getz and Wolf. Fits away midway through the Ten Commandments. There's Wolf. Hops through, double double. Getz gonna double double. Man, Getz is hustling. He is definitely trying. There's the 22. We're having a look. Jonathan Getz trying to run down Wolf. The Wolfman. Sandy Rocky Mountain coming right towards us here in our three-story announcer's tower. There he is. He skims that little jump, gets it right back down on the ground. Our second place rider, going to be Jace Wolf. Guess was closer last time around. Something happened there. Wolf might have put the hammer down. Might have shot him with a silver bullet. I'm not sure. There's our fourth place rider, number 95, Cole Bleckham. But as we follow along the 22 of Jonathan Getz. Got about three minutes to go before we put this one in the books. And little Vinny Way is on his way to a moto. And look at that deep rut. Good Lord, that thing's two feet deep there. As we hop on board, welcome back. Three minutes to go. Different class, but a lot of the same story. The 27, the only one way, the way, Vincent Way out front once again. With that whole shot, the clean bike, the clean gear, easy to pick him up as we have zoomed in. That is some good looking gear. The bike looks good. Everything's dialed in. Picking his way through this freshly groomed racetrack. We've only had a moto in between his race since we have groomed it. Track's holding up great. That's the one great thing about this race. We talked to Davey Coombs on our little show, Winners Take Y'all, and he was talking about how the last moto, fifth moto, 20th moto, they all get the same product. They don't take any, they don't cut corners towards the end of the event, end of the day. You all get a championship quality racetrack. Yeah, without a doubt, whether it's uh, 7.30 in the morning or whether it's 2.30 in the afternoon, you know you're going to get the best of the best when it comes to this racetrack. Oh, oh and way goes down. Vincent Way goes down. He only had seven seconds. Did he keep the bike running? He's got to crank the bike. And there, I believe, was the 13 of Jace Wolf that just went past him. So now we're going to have a race. Out is the two-lap board out? Two-lap board is out. Vincent Way goes down with two laps to go. He's only got about two seconds to try to make up. And new life, new blood for this race. Jace Wolf, hungry like the wolf for a moto win. They're coming right towards us. And Holy cow. Jace Wolf, I'm sure, feeling some newfound momentum there as he uh, got a, a breath of life. Two lap guard is out and he was handed the lead. He knows Way is probably right on his heels. Way was already standing. Here we back. go. Yes. He had to crank that bike right back up. Now they go into the finish line turn. Vincent Way, you have one lap now. The white flag is out. New leader. This happened two motos ago in our 65 class. Same thing late in the moto. Vincent Way, just a small miscalculation, topples over and check it out. Jace Wolf might win this moto, might ruin Vincent Way's perfect day, but we'll see. We saw this earlier, Jonathan Getz, and we saw that two lap card. He kind of checked back up. Uh, he was like, you know, we'll live to fight another moto. Not the plan out here for Wolf, as he is sticking there. He was within about six seconds or so, just enough to get the pass around Vincent Way. I mean, he's just going to have to go heads up with him. He's got about two or so seconds to make up. They're heading towards the Ten Commandments. There's Vincent Way. He's looking up, and he can see our leader, Jace Wolf. 
Wolf went right around him. Vincent was cranking up the motorcycle, and Jace Wolf wants a moto win. He might steal one right here, folks. And as they make their way into the Ten Commandments, you can see the body language of the number 27. He is moving that machine around, doing everything he can to try to catch up to the back of the leader. A little bobble, big bobble by our leader. Jace Wolf lost a ton of time now. You know Vince, Vince Way saw that. Man, he is just setting it into those berms, going for it. He's going to huff this triple here from the outside. Going for it. And your leader, once again, Wolf, has a bobble coming into Storyland. These Getting little mistakes are start adding up. Not even two seconds now separating. I don't think lap riders are going to be. Oh, and Wade goes down again. Has to get back up. He's going to lose another spot. He's waving his hands to not get hit. He goes down over that jump, hands in the air, cranks that motorcycle, and he's in a bad spot trying to restart that thing. Going to have to do a 180. And that's going to lose a few more spots, and that's going to hand it off to, we'll see, to Jace Wolf. So a rough about three minutes for Vincent Way. He had about as good a day as you could have. And this thing will get you, man, the, the level of pressure on these guys to perform and got to be in it to win it. Jace Wolf, this will be a learning tool right here. You know what I mean? You can learn from this if you're in that Vincent Way camp, and I guarantee you they will use it. Absolutely. They talk about being focused all the way through the motor. You saw Way's lap times kind of start to trickle back a little bit, kind of cruising it in. That's when the mistakes come. But no problems here. Look at the emotion coming across the line. Jace Wolf gets the job done. Going to grab that first motor win in Mini Senior 1. And Jonathan Getz should come across in the number two spot. Way's going to slip back. I'm not sure how, how far. There's Carson Wood. He is still battling with Kevin DeFino. He has not... Lindsay Sheltima, you are here. We're going to jump right in here. And what do you got going on? So I'm here again this year with the USMCA. We are over here right behind the mechanics area. We have a permanent structure this year. Not as tall as this one, but David Eller also put ours together. He did a great job, and we're super appreciative. Um, so we have all of our certified coaches over there this week, and Rhino Power also. We have uh, free Rhino Power set up for all of our coaches. But, you know, the biggest thing is, is we're here to support all the coaches that support the riders, and this is the biggest week to do it. Yeah, 100%. I love seeing it, guys. All over the country are now becoming certified, so there's a standard, a safe way of teaching our young kids how to ride dirt bikes, and that's kind of the whole message. Exactly, and what's really cool this year is uh, we're actually part of the OnTrack School Apprentice Program. So I have Zoe with me here, and she's with me all this week, so I'm teaching her the ropes and showing her everything I know and introducing her to everyone. Well, we're happy to have you here. I know we're a safer community because of you guys, and keep doing what you're doing. Well, thank you. So uh, step by this week and say hi, and if you're talking about getting your certification, you can come by and see us, and we can get you started, and you can come up on the tower for the week. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. We're going to jump back in and send it. Over to Jason Wygant. Wow, what an unbelievable finish. Jace Wolf gets Blecka. Vincent Wake gets yeah. back up and finished fourth. Man, that was that was tough, Jason, I'm sure. Yeah, I actually heard them bench racing under the tent about it. Uh, Jace is like, what happened? Did you tip over? And he's like, yeah. And then I really crashed on the last lap. So that'll knock Way off of the podium. And how about this story brewing? Jace Wolf, a great ride earlier today. And now we're going to bring him up to give him the gold. And that's persistence paying off, man. He just hung tough in that number two spot and then was able to take advantage. And now he's got himself a gold medal at Loretta's. Let's hear it for Jace Wolf. That's what it's all about, young man. Here, head over to the center. Um, first of all, okay, he did fall, but you did a great job holding strong in second. You got to be proud of how well you were riding and that you stayed up there the whole time. Yeah, I'm surprised I got this moto win. I was tired the last lap. You were digging deep. Yeah. What kind of work you've been putting in to step up to this level? Uh, sweatshirts and heat training, and then. <laughs> Unfortunately, you're going to have to do more of that. It's, clearly, it's paying off and it's helping. Who do you want to thank for this great run so far? Rob's performance, JJR Motors for getting that uh, somewhat hole shot, and then Tamer, PR2, TZR, Answer, Living Life Pin, uh, Spectral Oils, CKD, 100%. Yeah, thank you. Let's hear it for our gold medalist, Chase Wolf has done it. 
And some big shakeups here. It's going to be wild, these next two motos. A mini senior. Let's bring Jonathan Getz on up. He ends up in the number two spot, and he'll get the silver. Also, uh, Chadwick Nauer had the hole shot, and uh, if Chadwick's still around, we'll give him the hole shot award. But Jonathan Getz on the 22 has got himself in title contention as well after a nice run. And I think it was Cole Blecka in uh, third. Hole shot right here. Let's do this real quick. And then we'll bring up Jonathan. Let's give a Stacey Cole shot award. Come right out here to the front for Chadwick Nauer. Is it Nauer? Do we have it right? Yeah. All right. How'd you pull that start? Uh, well, I couldn't have done it without my Lynx motor and mom and dad for all their support. And yeah. Awesome. Congrats. Let's hear it for our Stasic Hole Shot Award winner, Chadwick Nauer. Good job. All right, congrats. You get to keep that. And it's a $100 gift card from Stasic. Now we'll bring up Jonathan Gates. You're good. Thank you, Chadwick. And now we bring up our second place finisher, aiming for two titles this week, and he's in good contention right now. Let's hear it for Jonathan Getz. Well, tell me about your moto, Jonathan. I came out like fifth, and then I just couldn't get around anybody. Yep. In the end, second, though, you'll take that, right? Yeah. Who do you want to thank? My mom and dad, 2-2 two -two Graphics, Monster, Fly, 100%, Fast Flex, 100% FMF, uh, Tamer, everybody else, thank you. All right, there it is. Jonathan gets your runner-up. Congratulations, and... Get it to bring up third place in the moto. Yeah. All right, every year we got to double check that we got the last name right. Let's hear it for Dylan Blecka. Cole Blecka. Hey, Cole, uh, that class is tough, man. You got to be happy with third or you want more? Yeah, um, Drew Chip won, so got a good game. To start off the week, still untitled. Um, I'd like to thank um, my whole family, the training facility, Monster, um, Answer, Asterix, 60, Dunlop, um, and everybody else that supports me. Thank you so much. All right, let's hear it for Cole Blecka taking third place in Mini Senior. Congrats. All right, I'll send it back up.